bam, look at this silly shit right here, right? So you can see this guy right here. He is trying to jump off this bridge in New York. Now, let me tell you the story behind this. And <laughs> it gets funnier. So what happened was he was trying to carjack. Oh, look at him on the ground. This guy's so silly. And look at the women looking at him. <laughs> so what happened was he stabbed an Uber driver because he was trying to carjack him, right? You can see that Tesla right up there. He stabbed the guy. Now, let me tell you how stupid this guy is. He's tried to do a carjacking in traffic. Look at this silly shit here. He tried to do a, a carjacking in traffic. So he ended up trying to escape because he realized, I guess, I'm not going to be able to get off this bridge. So he really just jumped off the bridge and broke bones in his body. His teeth fell out and all. <laughs> He was just there until the police come. This is this is where we're going. Like this is this is how silly shit is getting. This is how sad shit is getting out here. But you guys, let me know what you think in the comment section. I mean, you know, what could he have done better? <laughs> what could he have have done better in order to make sure this crime he was trying to commit was successful? All right. All I can see is the officers pulling up and just saying, you know, come on this way, sir. You just just go to jail. Like people like this just deserve to be in jail. I hate to say that, but if you think of a crime and you commit and you don't even put no thought into it, and that's the sad part about it. If I'm getting robbed, at least put thought into trying to rob me. But let me just think of what's going on, Stan Holder. So there's this traumatizing clip that came out of these officers pulling over this driver. And it seems, it seems as if there's more to the story that we know. But I wanted to warn you guys before I put the video on, it could be traumatizing. Okay. I already got this, uh, I think my wife called it Paulo something. Uh, Paulo, all right. I got this Paulo Santo right here just to uh, keep some good energy around. All right, so let's watch the video. Okay. Hey, that's us all. Come to me. You don't want me. Now you're going to hear the officer say, don't release the dogs, okay? Come to me, man. Let's just Do not, do not, do not let them, don't release the dog. Do not release the dog with his hands up. Do not release the dog with his hands up. Do not release the dog with his hands up, dog. So clearly there's no communication going on here. Do not, do not, do not get the dog off of me. The dog went in and had a happy meal. <laughs> That's just what happened. Sad to say, but um, oh my goodness. Now they did say the driver, they said the driver was not, like uh, when they was trying to pull him over, he just kept going, he kept going. He wasn't complying a lot. And he ended up complying closer to when they released the dogs, but before that he wasn't complying. So I'm not saying that's the reason why they pulled the dogs on him. I'm just saying, you know, we haven't got the full story. But the dog did definitely uh, get a chunk out of him right there. Okay. All right, we got to just hope this never happens to any one of us. You know, hopefully, you know, we figure out what happened here and, you know, who's ever responsible. Uh, they are held accountable. But, uh, Jesus Christ. You hear him screaming? Oh my goodness. Oh. What? Can't keep that energy away from me, all right? But hopefully this guy is okay. Let me know in the comment section. What's going on, Stan? Well, hold on. So just for a, a brief explanation of what's going on in this video. This guy right here, he is upset because they are explaining to him that because of the financial issues within Yellow, they may not have a pension at the end. And the reason why, and this guy is just upset and just, you know, letting him have it because he's been working for 30 years. But the reason why is because Yellow did not pay his pension and benefits program. It didn't make the payments. And if it does not make those payments, they will be booted from the program. And naturally that just affects the employees. They worked all that time and they won't they won't get their, their benefits. They won't get the pension that they worked hard for. They're supposed to take care of them during retirement. But that's just what it is. It's just a symptom to a bigger problem. But I want you guys to let me know, do you think Yellow will be able to navigate through this well? Would they be able to continue their operation? Because July 24th is the planned strike. July 24th is the planned strike. That's just a couple of days from now. But let me know what you think in the comment section. Peace.
Nobody tell me to calm my ass down. Fuck everybody to tell me to calm down. God damn it. This is my motherfucking money y'all playing with. Right. You're right, Dwight. Fuck that right. shit. So, so this is what I'm saying. You gonna tell me how the motherfucking feel. Fuck that shit. What's going on, Stanwood Holders? Pay attention real close to me because you might miss it. This trucker is going down the road in Detroit, Michigan, and boom. Yep. You, you hope you didn't miss it. A tire flew into his truck. Now, the worst part about it is, is this. You're going to see the inside of it. All right? The worst part about it is, this is the inside. It was a Ford. You can see the tire right there. It was a Ford. And you know about Fords, right? You know what it means? It means found on road dead. That's exactly what it did right here. It was found on the road dead. But... On a serious note, guys, as a truck driver, you know, I've been out there for several years. Every day just feels as if, like, you know, anything can happen. And I, I'm I'm happy this driver seems as if he's okay. Hopefully he didn't have much injuries. But any day, boom, something random can happen, you know. So it's just important to just make sure, you know, you're always doing the best you can to be safe and, you know, pray and just understand, you know, that's the reality of trucking. But let me know what you think in the comment section. Peace. There's, there's